but also uh, sounding is another oh, like. Right, they put rods in there. Yeah, so he might have a <laughs> awakening on both ends. You're getting double penetrated tomorrow. <laughs> You guys act like I don't want this. What's up and welcome back to episode, who cares? Why are we still doing this? Episode 102 of Dropouts. Um, Jared's here today. Jared, can you hit some intro music? Cause I want to get straight into it. I'm tired of you guys talking. Where's that microphone from? Um, that's Indy's microphone. Oh, gotcha. Anyway, here. Um, tomorrow's, Guys, tomorrow's the biggest day of my life. A lot of people look forward to their marriage day. A lot of people look forward to the maybe the day kid. Birth, birth of their kid, mm -hmm. graduation and things of that nature. No, not me. Tomorrow, um, I'm having a catheter put in. <laughs> um, to Dude, my, you gotta take him to that. Yeah, I know I'm taking You're gonna have to it. hold my hand during. I hope for nothing less. Okay. You're gonna have to look at the old uh, old elephant down there and, and, and the, the old elephant. elephant. <laughs> but here's what's going on. That's a being a little too nice. I've seen it. Oh, she's well, that, you if out. you've seen it, you got to be honest. Then tell the people, say it's nice. Oh, she's holding up the little shrimp. You know it's not true. So they plan on putting um, a foreign object up my urethra. urethra. Oh, Thank God. you for the technical term. What? Sorry, just hearing the fact that there's going to be like a tube-like thing, like in there, just like does that not? Am I the only one stoked about this? Does that not You're give anyone stoked about it? Yeah, it's kind of like an inner Slurpee. It's like you got an oh. inner. Slurpee. Oh my yeah. God. They take it out. Never yeah, ever, ever describe it as an inner slurpee. Okay. Before. Well, okay. And here's, the like good, it, here's the good part. If you think like something up my pee hole is going to suck, at the same time, they're going to be sticking a device up my butt. Yeah, you um, know what? Like, I don't think that will be that bad, though. So, for the he people. He honestly that, might like it. Yeah. You honestly might like the both of them. The male G spot is apparently in the asshole. Well, I don't think they're going to be going in and out, like trying to find it. <laughs> You're just no, going to stick I'm it in there. I'm just saying that, like, I don't think that. Like, I'd much rather something in my ass than my urethra. No, trust yeah. me. Let's roll a clip. Um, okay. <laughs> but, but also. Uh, sounding is another like sexual vice for people where they like have rods that are specifically. Jared, like, I don't need to know about your Pornhub search. It's called sounding. Oh right, they put rods in there. Yeah, so he might have a sexual awakening on both ends. You're getting double penetrated tomorrow. <laughs> you guys act like I don't want this. Anyway, no. The for double for the people that don't know, um, I have a urination issue at night. Sometimes I get up. At a all, minimum about five the times day. during yeah. the night, but sometimes at max it's been like 10, 12, maybe more. I haven't kept track all the time. After that burp, you might want to add like so acid I've been in, reflux. So to the list. I'm eating spaghetti right now, man. It's my <laughs> anti anxiety spaghetti for tomorrow. <laughs> I feel like you shouldn't be like eating spaghetti before this. Well, I want to, if they're going to get in there, they're going to go in the trenches, baby girl. It's going to get messy. <laughs> oh. oh. So you have to do like any kind of a cleanse. Can you listen, man? Sorry. <laughs> I've. I have a peeing issue. So there, I've been to four or five doctors for this peeing issue. Nobody can figure it out. I never get any sleep. Um, it's really affecting my life in a negative way. Anytime I see Jared, I get extra sad. So, <laughs> and me, how did I get brought into your peeing problem? Because I know your smile is fake and I know you want to do me with your presence. Okay. <laughs> so uh, they're putting in some device where they're going to measure the levels, take pee out. Um, and then oh. the thing at my butt like takes pictures or I don't know what's happening. Oh my in God. all honesty, <laughs> Pixar <laughs> didn't happen. Pixar <laughs> didn't happen. So I'm going to go and so my last doctor is like, I don't know what's going on. And that's what the doctor before that said. So they're taking me to like the most special doctor. Well, all she does all day is put these two things up people. And apparently they're going to run all these tests and hopefully figure out if I've got some Thing. That'll be so nice to figure out finally, though. Unless it's like cancer. Cancer. Well, okay, that's, let's that's, not, that is something let's I have get. some high hopes, you know. Like, I mean, my, the so, scariest like, thing I could think of is prostate cancer. Yeah. Because that's, that's a scary one. I feel like that's. It's definitely scary, but like. Anyway, so if you hear me eating spaghetti and you're like, Zach, that's oh so unprofessional. It's my anti um, anxiety spaghetti that's going to get me through. Aren't there a lot of other symptoms, though, that come with prostate cancer other than urinating a lot? I'm sure. I've probably got them. No, um, probably, but it, it's just one of those things that's always, it's like, you, it worries you in the back of your mind, you know, yeah, it's know. something you don't want. Well, cancer is never something you want, so. Yeah, you're right. C cancer is something you never want. Good call, I, guys. I'm glad we uh, came to that conclusion. <laughs> I have uh, like a, a lump on my thigh. Uh-oh. You want to come with me? Have you had it looked at? Yeah, I've had it looked at. I, I've had it since I was like a kid, but I remember one day, like, I don't know. I like, I went to my mom because I like was old enough to learn what cancer was. And I was like, um, she's like, honey, you're okay. You're a Pisces. <laughs> um, but anyway, I've been doing some Googling. I'm like, cause I'm a little worried about the pain. Do you get like numbed or anything? Um, lube is involved, but why would lube 
I'm excited about lube that no, is involved. Talk, I, just, I hope they numb your wee-wee. I hope they do a lot of things where the pain is taken yeah, away. But, but they, No, well, trust no, me, guys, I've gone to chat boards. I've gone to a lot of things. You know what everyone says? Huh? One of the worst pains in their life. Oh, cool. Yeah. Catheter? They say it's, yeah, they like say it's a, in the urethra? Yeah, they said it's not fun, excruciating. And said, um, I'm like, some people are like, I'm the hardest of all men. And uh, and uh, <laughs> even I was like being squeamish and squealing like a little girl. So Are you serious? So I, I hear up, I heard, I hear traveling up is fine, but what it's traveling it's up is fine? It's when they take it out, out, it gets a little dicey. See, I've had a catheter before, but- What? You have no penis. You might have had one in your- I didn't have a catheter when I was under. I did when I was under. You you had one while I was under. You're just like, just pop <laughs> one of these in. <laughs> no, I had a catheter and like How'd they it did feel? it all, well, they did it all while I was asleep. And I was like, and I didn't know about it until I woke up. And I was Should like- Should I bring my nighttime mask? If I just like, you mind if I just try to snooze? <laughs> <laughs> like it's not gonna work. You're gonna wake up immediately. So that's you know that's kind of my day tomorrow. I'm gonna give you any like blockers or something. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I'm gonna ask him to be gentle. I'm still confused as to why the the pulling it out is the rough part. Like I feel I, like I, going I, against the grain. Like the I could stuff be, comes out. Of I, that, I, right? I didn't read enough, but I I heard. Now, I don't know if this is true, but like when they go in, something maybe expands in there, oh. and then they take it out. Oh yeah. But also I. Don't think I read that. That might be something I'm making up. This is making me feel sick. It oh, is, what it if is. you were the one that had to experience it? I know. It? It's gotcha. literally making me feel <laughs> nauseous. You probably noticed that. by my tone and my sarcasm. Um, or if you haven't noticed the tone of sarcasm, you might think, oh, Zach might enjoy this by previous statements I've made. But actually, I'm terrified. And it's something that's been constantly in my mind and um, the top of every Google search on all of my browsers. So I'm thinking about bringing- and Right after the ACL surgery too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, knees, the knees still hurting. And- um, they're like, hey, when you get home, how about we just do something worse? What about your guys' day tomorrow? Anything you guys are got going on? Well, I'm taking you to that nice. fun adventure. Wait, okay, wait, hear me out. If if it decreased 50% of my pain, would you do it as well? If it dec decreased 50% of your pain. And you only had 50% of the pain. Yeah, I I'd would do, do it. it. Too. I would do it because you've already been through enough, you know? And if that I could- That wasn't even a question in my mind. I did. Yeah, if I could take that pain away from you, then yeah. Jerm? Huh? Say thank you to me. Say thank you? Yep. Why would I, why am I thanking you? Um, Cause I think you're the favorite of the show. Which is what I think. That I is not true. I you're the favorite of the no, show. No, 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 I'm not. Trust me. Pe trust me. Once, no offense, once, Jared, but like- No, no, well, no, nope, I know. Yeah. Nope. Once the comments come out, once this comes out, and this is, a, a, that's actually a really good point. The way I've manipulated you and this <laughs> entire um, show, I've kind of put you in the background a little bit strategically because once well, people see depressing. no people see that underdog story and they actually like you more because oh what, yeah, 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 okay. yeah i see what you're doing no no like, i like this have you ever noticed when you're not in the thumbnails everybody's like why isn't he in the thumbnails you're and right. then you get more I chatter i've been in the thumbnail i've been, been in, in the thumbnail twice, twice. because the the relatability of the third person on a sidewalk that's standing behind the friends <laughs> that like, this is so i assume depressing. i assume a lot of our listeners might have had situations in their life where it's been similar to that and that's what you represent, Jared. That's why so many people are clinging to you. Exactly. And I've been just, I've been sewing. I've been sewing into the fabric of this show that this entire time. One day you're going to transcend us all, you know? It's kind of like, have you ever seen Mr. Beast? Yeah. You remember Carl? No, mm -hmm. I will. I was never like that into it. I've just seen like- Either way, either way. He, um, he kind of went from a background character to just somebody who's at the top. And I, really? and I see you skyrocketing. Now that this information is out and people can peek behind the veil and know that you've been paying me to do this for quite some time, like oh, it's going to be a little different. You. I've um, been paying you, have yeah. I? What, how, how much have I been paying you? Because this is news to me. How much was it? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Oh, man. However much money is it? It's quite a bit. Um, Indy, entertain the people with something. I have a fitting tomorrow. Oh, dude, entertain the people. You're just trying on clothes. Tell them something important. Yeah, it's important because it's... Oh, I... Oh, oh, nice. You see how Sorry, I you see how it came to that conclusion in my head first? And I, I knew you couldn't talk about yeah, it? Yeah, well, I realized that I hadn't <laughs> announced it yet. So. It, dude, there's nothing worse than entertaining people. Like, I, know I have something so cool happening. It's like, I'm sorry, we're I, human I, beings I, on a planet that's going to explode in a billion years, and you can't tell me that you're going to be on camera for something super special? Come I just on, forgot dude. that I haven't announced it Andy, this is yet. marketing. I'm marketing I'll right now. Come on. This is, come on. People are, <laughs> I'm building the hype. You see the minute? You see the manipulation I'm doing with all this? Yeah, Jared well, sucks. Now you love him more. It's all part of the plan. <laughs> okay. I sacrificed myself for you guys. Hold on, meatball. You're like the charismatic version of like the Riddler that just like has everything <laughs> figured out. And you're I just say like, this all the time. Like if he was a toxic individual, we would never know because his manipulation is at an all time incredible level. My toxicity is actually part of 
My toxicity is caked in perfume. Um, <laughs> it is yeah. beautiful and wonderful and I use it for good. I am. No, but it's like he, like you've seen it firsthand with like me when he's like, when I'm watching a really trashy show and like somehow he manipulates me into changing the show. But I think it's me. To watching like an Academy Award winning movie yes, that yes, you yes, should yes, be yes, watching. Yes. 100%, <laughs> but it's like if I want to watch my trash TV. No, I get somehow, it. I love trash TV too. Right, every now and then it's just nice. Like it's have I nice. been binge watching the Kardashians? Yes, I have. And am I loving it? Yes, I am. Hey, Jared, when you were little, did you spend uh, the night at friends' houses often? Yeah, quite a bit. Was that one of your favorite experiences? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, what about you, Indy? Didn't have couple, friends? A couple. I mean, a couple of times. But. Gotcha. Okay, that's sad. Anyway, back to a happy note. Uh, I used to spend the night with um, my friends back yeah. in elementary school. As you do. Beg my mom. Not my dad wasn't there. Not a big deal. <laughs> oh my God. Beg my mom, a uh, single mother to kind of go to my friend's house, spend the night. Or they come to mine, they spend the night. Usually preferred they come to mine to spend the night uh, just because I was more comfortable there. Oh really? See, I never wanted friends over. Like my my house was always like my domain. I never wanted people over. I mean, as a child, um, if I was ever anywhere too long, I would cry and have my mom pick me up because oh. I did miss her that much. Um, this was really? little mama's boy. Yes, this was six and under. So don't think this was into adulthood. I don't remember that. I don't um, remember that. Anyway, so I was at my friend's house. Um, this was when I was at their house. I got comfortable with them. So like, okay, I'll stay the night. And we're, I would say we're in fourth, fifth grade. And at that time, um, males are very obsessed with um, our genitals. Okay. Yeah. And nothing funnier at that time than a boner. Okay. Okay. Boners are very funny then. Um, so me and my friend, we're sitting down, it's just him and I at, late at night in his room. And we're putting different things in our pants, um, our silky shorts uh, to make it look like a boner. Like one of us will grab uh, a marker. Oh, so that's weird. a boner. Uh, one of us will grab a, uh, a, a water bottle. A water bottle you put in there. You keep trying to get bigger and bigger. And then uh, we're, all, we're me and him are just having fun. So the marker was the main thing. And then I'm like, ha ha ha. And then it was his turn. He's like, okay, turn around. And, and then he's like, I was like, oh, you got the marker in there. And then he's like, uh-uh. What? And then uh, he's like, <laughs> the marker. And I was like, what? And then I was like, he actually had a boner. And I just, this is something I still think about this to this day. I was like, I don't know what he was trying to do, but I just rolled over and went to sleep. You slept after that? Um, I would have called my mom, just been like, hey, Mark, well, Mark has a boner right I now. I mean, that was the first time I've dealt with something like that. You've probably gone through it quite a bit. <laughs> um, but I just thought, I still think about it this day. I'm like, what that were you? makes me viscerally uncomfortable. Yeah, because I thought we were boys and then he just pulled out the rocket out of nowhere. Yeah, and I was like, hey man. He thought you guys were boys too. So that's something I haven't brought up often, but it's just ways, ways on me. A lot of people are at night think I'm thinking of like depressing things and that's why I can't sleep. It's mostly that. Have you talked to your therapist about that? I haven't talked to many people about that, Jared. I was just trying to bring it up to you. Wow. Just don't tell anybody, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't tell anybody on a on a public podcast. So, so me and that guy became friends. Um, and then most recently, he kind of got into meth. Happens. Oh, shit. He did. And then he beat up his grandmother because he was trying to steal money from her and she wouldn't let him have it. So he beat up his grandmother and then um, he went to prison. That was that guy. That was. No, yeah. We won't oh. have to talk anymore in just case he finds this. But yeah, he went to prison for that. But it all, I think it all started going downhill after that night. I'm going to take a little bite of Skitty. Real upstanding guy, that, uh, that one. It's 100% a true story. Crazy. Like, I don't know if I My should- My life's interesting, man. Any I don't more know stories? if I should apologize to you or not, like for having to go through that. And uh, then I've got a God complex today. I think it's what's happening tomorrow. So I feel like I've kind of made this podcast about myself. And I mean, that's probably detrimental to our audience, detrimental to both of your individual brands. But right now I just don't care. So if you guys could fire questions at me, don't mind answering them. Ask a question. I feel like I already know so much about Ask you. more then. I'm trying to get my mind off tomorrow, Jared. Thing in the pee hole. Are you forgetting? Oh, fuck. It just... <laughs> I'm talking a lot because I'm nervous. Let's go, buddy. Ask me something. Sweet, sour, doesn't matter. What's a conspiracy theory that you believe in? Mm. I just believe in anything. You know that. First well, of, listen. You never know. I believe in myself. Your conspiracy theory? I don't. Um, there's not many that I subscribe to. Are there any that you subscribe to? Well... I was thinking about the, this is like one that I kind of like formulated on my own. Okay. Okay. So it started when um, I saw a video on TikTok, right? And it was this, this guy explaining, he was like, what if teleportation was invented tomorrow? Right. But it was invented and it was available for like the public, like the mass public, like it was super affordable. Um, and he was just talking about how basically our society would collapse, you know, because like the car industry would go under, uh, there'd be no need for hotels, roads, hotels, you know, travel. travel, like all that stuff. Um, then he's like, 
he he was thinking. Why would hotels so go big under? business is keeping because down time to or, uh, Italy for a day. Oh, and then teleport home to sleep. Big business exactly. is keeping down teleportation. So well, it's probably been here for years. So basically, what he was talking about, like his whole metaphor with the thing, was that like really advanced technology um, is super expensive in the beginning because our world like our societies need time to integrate that into uh, mm. into the Diva public. cops. How long did it take those things to roll out? <laughs> <laughs> but so this got me thinking, right? I was like, what else could this be applied to? And so I was thinking about, I was thinking about aliens, right? Cause I was watching a lot of like astronomy videos and whatnot. Illegal or uh, no, like extraterrestrial. Gotcha. Um, and I was thinking right recently, like, They've, you know, like the Pentagon has been releasing like formally redacted, you know, papers and, you know, clips and pictures and videos and evidence of like, you know, UFO sightings, right? And UFO just stands for unide unidentified flying object. Hold on, get a little Parmesan in my old uh, pasta. Keep going, Jared. I'm listening. So they're not necessarily saying that it's aliens, right? And then, yeah. but all these uh, like other public officials are coming forward saying like, oh, aliens are real. The government knows about them. We've had contact, mm. but everybody kind of like writes them off as like crackpots, you know? Um, gotcha. but the, the theory tying into like the teleportation, the concept of the teleportation video is like, I think the government is slowly starting to integrate the possibility that there are aliens into our society because possibly contact could be, uh, being made soon. Not like soon as in like the next year, but like maybe in the next decade or something, you know? It's not a bad theory. That was that was just something that How do you think discovering that there was extraterrestrial life or aliens or whatever, how do you think that that would collapse our economy in any way? Like what do you think why do you think it needs to be slowly integrated versus Well, I think it's just because as of now, we are like scientifically we have not found other life on planets, right? So oh, basically it's kind of like we literally still think that we're the Scientifically, we think we're the only ones, right? Logically, that doesn't make sense because of how massive our universe is, but we don't have any proof. And so if they just came out tomorrow and be like, aliens are real, they have been here, we have contact, we have this technology from them, blah, blah, blah. I think it would send the world into disarray because everybody, especially like religions would be collapsed, you know, because we're, you know, like in the, in the Christian faith, it's like, we are made in the image of God. Right. And so well, maybe but, us too, but you Jared, I don't know. But if like, if say like the alien from ET, you know, it's called is like, no, it's not <laughs> widely disputed, but <laughs> trust me, I'll die on that hill. <laughs> but like, say like that specific alien like existed and he looks nothing like us, right? Then the whole Christian faith in a sense would collapse because it's like, well, now there's other beings that aren't like us. So like what image are we actually made in? Blah, 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 all this stuff. As a person who's um, the next step in evolution, take a stab at it here. Um, <laughs> oh my God. What? The next step in evolution. At that's least what we people, have it on camera now. That's what people say about. <laughs> that's what people say about me. Who says that? All over the comments. Really? Yeah, this video. Like it's your, almost like your, your comments. comments? No, 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 no. Like, every video. No, 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 no. Like in this, oh, watch this. Once this video comes out, you're well, gonna you're gonna go to the comments, and people are just gonna riddle it with Zach is the next step in evolution. Because I feel like you're kind of leading. Them no, 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 to, no, no. no. I'm just saying. Like, I'm not trying to influence any of you to put that in the comments. So I'm definitely right. So you're winking at them. You're I'm blinking with one eye. But why not it's the a other defect, eye? Because I don't know how to with this eye. So is that eye just constantly dry? Just like the women around you. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, no, I've always been fascinated with with um, extraterrestrial life and and thinking that maybe one day I'll I'll get to meet a a sweet, sweet Gorgon, whatever you call him. But at the same time, right now, this is our only reality. So is this the only thing that matters? Well, yeah, like I'm not like living my life with the expectation. Dude, that you would break an alien's gonna... heart in a second. Oh my God. You want to talk about the situation? Hey, I'm on your side, baby girl. We all are. Justice, Justice. for <laughs> Moving on. Do we want to talk about it? No. I thought you said she'd want to talk about it. No. She doesn't? No. Speaking anyway, of uh, extraterrestrial, well, this is existential. <laughs> but also the, the, the fascinating thing about astronomy and whatnot. I'll be the one to is, judge. Is like with the concept of light years, right? So like however many, that's how fast light travels, right? That's how, that's how we measure it is light years and whatnot. So say there's like a planet that's 64 million light years away that has 
sentient life, you know, and they are advanced enough to be, to have a telescope looking at us and being able to see earth. Um, they would be seeing the light from 64 million years ago. So they'd be seeing dinosaurs. So they wouldn't think that advanced like, Oh, okay. That's more of a reason to come visit though. See, That doesn't make sense to me. Something like that. Just that whole thing doesn't add up. Are you me. kidding me, Jared? But I'd then, be on the first rocket ship over to see dinosaurs. That's so sick. But then yeah. also that's what you were dis discussing with me to the, oh, like the whole the, time travel theory. Well, no, the stars that you see in the sky are from yeah, millions like, and billions of years yeah, ago. Yeah, no, Which is what we're saying is like, that also leads into the time travel theory remember that we were discussing that yeah yeah which is something you guys that discuss when i'm not around big highbrow stuff yeah. I, yeah sometimes we do we do it's sometimes. either that or the the kardashians well i don't watch the kardashians so but so sorry jared I, I just no i just think that that's interesting that like you know we don't have like proof of life because we can't see it even though we're looking at light that's really old so the planets you know that are like earth-like or whatever She's like yawning. these exoplanets i know um they could have life on it, but they're so far away that we don't process it. So we'll move on. No, no, she's I like yawning. This. No, she was she was yawning because she didn't. She finds it boring, Jared. <laughs> oh, you, you picked yawning. up on that. Okay, uh, Jared wrote some stuff down that he really wants to talk about. Oh, uh, what was that, Jared? A few weeks ago, when I went home, my knee is barking at me. Anyway, go ahead. A few weeks ago, when I went home. Uh, I learned a fun fact about. Okay, about, again, we will determine if it's we'll fun. We will determine if this is fun because something tells me it's not going to be fun. No, no, no. no Whoa, no. hey. You, you don't start it that way, huh? Sorry. Okay. You don't start it that way. Well, I was Go disappointed ahead. when you showed me the floating restaurant that wasn't actually floating. It's on the river, okay? It wasn't floating. Was it just a boat, Jared, where someone was eating food? No. no. It, it was like a whole, like there was a, it was a whole jetty to get to it and the platform when, like it's not floating. It's on the water. It's on the Okay, I could say that the houses on the canal are floating just because they're by the water. No, okay. wait, 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 hear me out. Is Maybe the restaurant is floating, but it's chained down to the bottom. So that's not floating. That is technically floating, that's but, float but like it's anchored. A, a, a boat is floating in the but water, nothing, but it's anchored. But there's nothing anchoring it down. How do you know? How do you know? Exactly. What do you mean? How many times have I freaking driven a boat? How many times have I... What do you mean? Did you, did you see the anchors on it? Did you not think, you don't think boats yeah, but, have anchors? You think that was a myth this but whole that's time? that's when it's anchored down. I'm saying that that boat, that, that fucking- Restaurant. Restaurant, the Hooters that was supposed <laughs> to be- Thanks for helping her out in her argument. <laughs> that, that Hooters was, that was supposed- that Hooters? To, well, it was meant yeah, to be a so McDonald's. The, the backstory for this is that when uh, I, I went to go home for just like a, a few days but you uh, while you guys were in West Virginia. And then instead of flying to West Virginia, it's only two and a half hours to Cincinnati. Two hours so, and 45 minutes. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Indy just came, the worst, right? I know. <laughs> Indy came and picked me up. And just like while we were leaving, I was just like showing her like some of the sights of the city. And in Cincy, we have... Um, I'd tear my ACL again not to go through that. We, we have the Golden Arches Bridge, which was like built and painted to celebrate uh, McDonald's. It was supposed to be building like one of the first floating restaurants, um, but then they, they backed out and now it's a Hooters. Oh, so you can see titties on the water? Yeah. It's great. I mean, anyway, the, the fun fact. So um, uh, do you guys know who Susan Arnold is? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she is uh, the chair of the board for the Walt Disney Company. But before that, she was an executive at P&G. Where your mom works. Where my mom works. And apparently, they're friends because they were in the same mommy and me class when I was a kid, when I was like a baby. An I, abomination of a baby, but I still just, a child. I just thought that was interesting. That, is that like, really your fun fact? Okay, the, I actually found that fun. The Walt Disney sister is friends with Walt Disney's sister. It's like, well, no, Zach. Well, that's not it. Um, she was the president of P&G's like global beauty brands at the time, but she was in a mommy and me class with my mom and they became friends because Susan Arnold is also like openly gay. And so they like really connected on that. They oh, both had kids dude, at what, the same imagine, time. What if they connected enough where you could, you know what? In like the, the you could be Jared the Disney. multiverse or whatever. Her last name is not Disney. Or well, she's missing out. Does she, is she in LA? I don't know where she is. Should actually. we go visit her? Hit her up. Free just subscription. Be like, hey, you remember Julie? You probably have to say her last name. Want to give us some free season passes? You know, this is cool. What? Fireworks almost any time. I love fireworks. Have fireworks you ever have great. you ever lit off one? Have you ever done a Roman candle fight? No, never done a Roman candle fight. I was always too scared. My mom's like made me paranoid about getting my hands blown up with fireworks. What's a Roman candle fight? Um, so there are items called a Roman candle. It's uh, I would equate it to almost a long pencil, maybe <laughs> even yeah, yeah. It's about it's about this big, probably the size of uh, you remember Nerd's ropes back in the day. 
probably that size, double the thickness. And inside were um, fireworks that would just shoot out. And then like they wouldn't explode. They would just like shoot out like little blaster like mm -hmm. beams or whatever. So you and your friends would get a collection of them and then fight each other like you're in Harry Potter. That sounds so dangerous. I wouldn't recommend it. And actually a disclaimer probably we should yeah, be on here. Yeah, disclaimer, but, do not um, do this. It's but a lot of fun if, it's a lot of fun either way. <laughs> either no, I mean, way. That, that would be fun to like pretend you're in Harry Potter. I mean, like, and then if someone gets hurt, and then I think it's the most fun because the high stakes. That's exactly. What people, like people are too safe Are you safe directly nowadays. aiming it to the people? You directly aim it yeah. usually. Oh shit. Um, usually you try to stand at a distance. Sometimes you've been you, hit? Like what happens if you get hit? Um, you usually say ow or lose an eye. It's one of the two. Yeah, it's, a risky, why, it's a risky game to play. That's why God built in most things in twos on our body so we can always lose one. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the titties though. Just kidding. <laughs> that was a bad joke. Cut that out. Just no, that was actually really funny. No, because I I know you'll take the joke well, but other people won't, so just cut it. That's out. a funny joke. Stop being so sensitive. If I'm laughing at the lack of titty jokes, then you should too. Chill. I love your titties. Am I making up for it? Well. <laughs> okay. Can I if we had an HR department, that would be harassment. You be the HR person. Okay. I'm gonna you're gonna turn me in for harassment. Okay. Okay. Jared. Hey, Jared. Hey. hey, buddy. Hey, guys. I'm turning him in for harassment. She's turning him in for harassment. Oh, okay. um, he said he loved and my titties. Objection. Objection. You okay. say you're what, what titties? <laughs> so hear me out. <laughs> Zach, <laughs> you can't say that. As your HR representative, you can't say that. It's a joke, Jared. That's funny. Um, That's funny. No, trust me. I love her milkers. Zach. Okay, where, where right. do I where do I land on this then? Stop. I can, do I say I like your titties or I don't like your titties? Just stop Suspended. talking about jar. Suspended. Let's For stop, what? Let's stop talking no about, pay. Let's stop talking about my titties. Just because we can put, just because we can paint your chest and play a pretty level game of chess on it does not mean that I hate your titties. Okay. Jared. Jared. Yes, we'll use the nipples as the pawns, but that's not a big <gasps> deal. Okay. Oh my god. Whew. All right. Um, you you know you know I told you you look like a model with your tiny titties. <laughs> I did say that though. So all the people I'm not actually I'm a lover of all titty sizes. I want to say that. <laughs> Come on, guys. Equal oppor opportunity. Okay. I think someone could hold okay. on, hold on. I need to address this. And I, a lot of you might be shouting at your screen now. Sexist. Um, Is that sexist? Misogynistic. Um, against the movement. I'm gonna say. It's for the movement. How is that against the movement if you're for all titties? No, 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 no. Before that, when I was making fun of the titties. Oh. Like, that's a joke between friends. But since we're on a podcast, people are going to be like, oh, he's meaning that towards everyone. When in reality, that's just riffing between friends. See, like, you go to me. See, so be like, oh, little tiny penis boy. Say that to me. Oh, little tiny penis boy. Got him. See, and, but now she doesn't mean that all penises that are tiny are bad. Right. Well. <laughs> oh, oh! How the turntables? What, what's it when you're not misogynistic? What's the other one? Um, you're mean. Is <laughs> um, Speaking of uh, women's bodies, though, <laughs> did you? We got a weird. No, 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 no. Did you see? Flamed. There's a there's a company that is coming out with a cereal called Period Crunch. What the fuck? Sign me up. What so, is it? So it's <laughs> they're trying to normalize the conversation of like is this strawberry, like the milk turned strawberry. Yeah. So it's it's shaped. They're shaped like, like uteruses. Oh my Love God. it. And Where do it. I buy it? And they're they're pink and raspberry flavored. Yep. So yes, the milk turns Wait, red. Wait, wh where do I buy it? Um, it's not like for mass sale, but I can send you the email. Um, what do you, how to, did you get this email? I'll get on the wait list. That's Here, fantastic. Uh, I'll I'll show you guys the picture of what the, what the cereal looks like. Please do. Look at that. Oh, it's a lot more aggressive than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like. These tricks are not for kids. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? So I don't want to be eating my uterus for freaking breakfast. I want to stop a second and don't know how you speak normally in that octave. So it is for a good cause. Like they're trying to like normally normalize what? the conversation and menstruation like, in eat, households. I don't want to eat my uterus for breakfast. Well, I do. What's up, baby girl? Um, what's a lower register in like talking and song? Like a lower octave, yeah. like a bass or a tenor. Or yeah, you have to talk in bass for the rest of the. That's so low. Is that bass? Because I'm not. I'm not. Well, that's just normal. That's like alto. Yeah. You know? Can you at least be alto when you go soprano? Everest. <laughs> no falsetto. Uh, Do we want to talk about boobs more? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was uh, Speaking hilarious. of boobs, that's 
I mean, for the movement, yeah. But like, I don't want to ever eat that. Imagine like just I whipping that out. Of Imagine just whipping that out at breakfast, being like, I do just want to like. I, I, I just want to try it. I want to I want to know how it tastes. Yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it'll be the first time, huh? Do you think if a woman's boob, mm-hmm. bosom, bosom, do you think you could suffocate or kill someone with one of those? Oh, um, my grandmother said at the dinner table once, big boobs are great when you're younger, but now they just fall between my armpits when I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, he also, she also told me that my grandfather had a substantial reproductive organ. But yeah. got a hog on him, huh? Why did Granny tell you this? That was not Granny. Oh, other uh, Granny. Other, yeah. Well, I mean, you have you seen no, you've seen between. like the the videos of women that like smash watermelons with their boobs, I mean, right? You could definitely do some damage with one, right? Yeah, like if you're smashing watermelons, like. you can give someone a black but eye. I wonder what it's like to have something moving on your chest. I don't know what that's like. So, if you had larger chesticles, um, chest- would I be showing them? Would you not not would you be showing them? That's up to you. Like what what would be some things that are like non sexual, non appearance based that you would first do with them? Would you maybe rest them on a counter? Yeah, I think I would. I'd rest them. In, I'd I'd want to know what a bra looks like. But that's appearance based. Oh, he's going just well, purely just like out of curiosity, um, not appearance oh, whoa, whoa. or sexual. Would you hollow out a, a grapefruit and stick it inside? No. Um. You know what I do. I'd wear a, a shirt or a bra with a bra on and put stuff in between my boobs because people use their boobs mm. as as a, as like a bag. Yeah, like I've seen a girl. I kid you not, in the bathroom, pull out credit card, ID, lip gloss, yeah. like tampon, all in there, just all in there somewhere. And I'm just like, that is that's handy. That's so handy. That looks so nice. If I did that, something's gonna fall all the way through. There's nothing to hold it. At what point are you gonna love yourself for who you are, Indy? I didn't say I didn't. We all need to do that. Jared, what are your biggest insecurities, by the way? I love handles. Love handles? What What do you hate about them? I don't like that I have them, you know? Cause like, you, you know, in health class, they're like, when you go through puberty, your body develops the the Dorito shape or whatever, you know? And I just, I just what never. What do you mean the Dorito shape? Where it's just like your shoulders are broader than your waist, and so it like <laughs> I got it's the, like a uh, triangle. I look like the cinnamon stick off of uh, Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks. <laughs> Less raffian, but just as thin. I mean, it's just the same. Thin. It's the same thing for like women. It's like when you are in puberty, they're like your body's gonna start to develop boobs and an hourglass shape, and I'm just like, when the fuck is that gonna happen? I think it's next Tuesday. I got the calendar invite you got the google I, I kid invite. you not yeah. i tried everything until i was old enough to realize that they just weren't gonna grow my friend told me you need to start drinking the milk with hormones in it like the bad milk for you and she's just like just drink tons and tons of milk and i was like i mean for some girls that does that does affect like the size you know but that's I also not stop thinking my about my procedure tomorrow I'm so sorry that I, you know what? I can't even blame you. That would also be on my mind 24 seven. If I was getting something shoved up my pee hole. <laughs> Fuck. Like speaking of big boobs. Wait, can, though, can we just look up reviews maybe of just how, what let's people do it. think. Let's look up like a YouTube video. Oh, well okay. can't show that, but you can if it's educational. I'd rather not show penises on the show, but no, I was just going to say for us. But, but while I Google that, speaking of big boobs, there's an airline company that just got in trouble because they said they kicked a woman off for being like drunk and like kind of not belligerently, but disorderly. Um, but she's claiming it's because she has like ridiculously large breast implants. Um, Wait, what do you mean? I was kicked off a plane for my <laughs> over my 22 pound boobs and left and felt dehumanized. 22 pounds? Yeah. Gotta have some back problems. Oh my. Oh my. I've seen this girl. Anyway, she just, was kicked off the plane. I mean, she's definitely got to be taking up. Well, she's obviously harboring drugs in there. <laughs> How many kilos? But like, do you she's think also definitely got to be like taking up more than one seat. Like, you know how like this is fucked up. But like, you know how like they make bigger people buy two plane seats. She's got the same thing. Like, but imagine you're just like you're you've got a window seat and she's in the middle and just like half of her boob is in your lap and you're just like looking out the window. <laughs> oh, um. Oh, am I bothering you? No, no, no. Would you like me to hold this dinosaur egg or not? Uh, <laughs> can, yeah, can you, if you mind looking up some reviews of- All right, I think I found something okay. um, for it. 
Uh, I, I don't know. I guess there's different types of catheters. Just like, what's it feel like to have a male catheter? Do you know which type of catheter? Because this is specifically the Foley catheter. I don't know which one. Okay, well, they said I had a Foley catheter inserted okay. after surgery because of retention. It went on okay, but was quite painful and irritating at the top of the penis for the entire week it was in. <laughs> okay, mine's only going to be an hour and a half. He had it in for a week? Oh, people have it in much oh, yeah. longer than that. Have a you ever heard of ailments and then you're in the hospital for a long time? Is your ghost penis hurting? <laughs> it's your ghost penis. My, my coochie. My bladder packed up, so I have a Foley placed. Uh, they had two attempts to get it in. The pain oh. was excruciating. I'm still <sighs> experiencing tummy pain, bleeding, and spasms, which are awful. I'm on antibiotics as I have a urinary tract infection. <sighs> Um, yeah, you might get one of those. Out. I have to see the urologist in a few days. Wait, what was the, it was the word that started with an E? Was it ex excruciating? Gotcha. That's the one that's not fun to hear. Um, any positive ones or any other? Having the catheter pulled the fuck out of my penis while I was awake was comparable, was a comparable experience to the pain of the drain being pulled the fuck out of my chest cavity. Oh, they had open heart surgery. <laughs> <laughs> So this is worse than open heart surgery <laughs> or on par? My buddy said the same thing, like removing rolled up sandpaper from your old chap. Interesting, interesting. The worry is set in almost tenfold. Fuck. Are you watching it? Was it bad? Why? They rip it out? Yeah, they, they rip it out like a piece of well, you scotch don't wanna, tape. You don't want it to go fat, slow. It's like a Band-Aid, I guess. This what? is probably oh, what causes the what? bleeding. What? You're watching videos of this? Why? I wanted to know what it looked like. Does it seem as troublesome as we thought? Yeah. And that so like the pain was just like for a second. All of these are saying it that it lasts for like a couple days. Like I guess it'd be like kind of after I had you like have anal for the first time, like your butt's gonna. I'm you sure know a lot about that? I don't, but like I'm just saying, I you know enough. I know enough. Oh, oh, here's a good one, Zach. Here's okay, a good, good one. This one sounds positive. My boyfriend said that they're painful coming out, but he had one because they had to remove his urethra back into the right location. Uh, <laughs> so his entire dick had been spliced open and sewn back together with a catheter in. Uh, he's told stories about how much worse it was without the catheter because he had to force pee through his dick held together by stitches uh, that had been operated on the week before and was nowhere near healed. Poor guy is a trooper. And then somebody commented under that, holy shit, my wang just retreated into me. <laughs> Maybe I just live with the fatigue for the rest of my life. I think so. I think that's the right call. I'm surprised you haven't already looked up videos. Oh, I didn't want to. It's better to go in blind. Do this, you wreck it? This person just says it's really awkward feeling when it goes in. Like it doesn't, I don't think it hurts going in. What about the butt stuff? I'm sure that's fine. Yeah, the butt stuff, <laughs> you might enjoy that. Like my, my mom has had like a colonoscopy before. And she and enjoyed it? Not that she enjoyed it, but just like. I think you're just gonna feel like some pressure and that's about it. Um, cool. Anyway, my whole body is just like retracting into itself. Like I just like I feel so bad, and I'm so sorry I can't be there. I'm glad you're not there. No, but I want to be glad there. I to could be there for you. I wanted to be there to help him and stuff. What are you gonna do? I don't know. You know, just maybe it's a loop little. It up. Yeah, but maybe it's a little. <laughs> <if> you want. <laughs> but maybe it's just like a little less awkward to have me there than it is to have Jared. He's not gonna be looking at it. He's gonna be in the waiting room. Could I have come in if I was there? No. <laughs> <laughs> What is wrong with her? Oh, obviously, I wouldn't have come in, but I'm just nice that I have around. Mm, no, that's not true. Um, I'm sorry, but I was an absolute fucking gem in West Virginia, waiting on you hand and foot, going out just to go get you freaking milk if you needed it. Like, How often did I need milk? Well, I'm just saying. Like, You're a milk guy now? Just, I don't think I'm just so. saying. Are you, you trying to take my team whole no, milk I'm title? Saying, no, I appreciate the help that you gave me. That's not the debate here. I appreciate the help you gave me. Like, who would I rather play laser tag with? Jared. <laughs> um, disagree. Okay, but you have you can't. ever have You're you ever played me. laser tag with me? Yeah, it sounds like a, you just scream a lot. No, I'm great at it. I'm very stealthy. How? <laughs> what do you no, mean there's how? No way. I'm very stealthy I've in heard laser the tag. Way you walk. We have to go play laser tag. You've <laughs> you've tripped over air before. I don't see how you're going up ramps and stuff. Pretty good at laser tag. <laughs> I, I, but wish, still, you being, I wish we could just cut to just like a montage of her like tripping <laughs> and falling. No, I'm really good at it. When was the last time you've played laser tag? Um, were you 12 years old and you thought no, you were good at it? No, it was in the US. Okay. So it's been within the last six years. <laughs> <laughs> when was 
the last time you guys played laser tag? Three years ago. <laughs> yeah, we used to play it on our high school tennis trips. Okay, but how fucking long ago was that? Uh, I wasn't 12. Yeah, but that's more <laughs> than six years ago. Okay, and that's also not the argument whether who's better at laser tag. Who would I rather play laser tag with? Because Jared and I would be like making <laughs> jokes and then you'd be like, I'm mad about something. You shot me, I'm mad. Shut up, <laughs> I'm not like that. It's a game, why would I get mad at a game? Because you're super competitive. Okay, but I'm not gonna get mad if I lose. Like I lost, big fucking deal. So you're getting mad you now? <laughs> I'm getting mad because you guys are saying that I get mad over stupid things. Oh, often, almost every day. <laughs> Do you That's not true. What's that game, Categories? Fine. Do you remember when we were playing that and Zach was whooping our ass at that? And you actually got mad? Oh, what's categories? Where you like have to write down like the names of a bunch of things that start with the same. 100%. What? What happened? Like you literally didn't talk to me. What do you mean? <laughs> You didn't talk to me and you said I ruined the game because I was so good at it. I feel like I didn't. <laughs> you 100%. No, you 100% I said did. you ruined the game because you were yes. too good. Yeah. No, that seems You didn't talk to me for like a day. <laughs> because you were too good at categories? Yes. Yeah. Do you like see how wild it is <laughs> to experience you? I like that she thinks that we're making this up. Like, or that no, it's a joke. I think it's something you got to work there's on. There's no way I did that. But you do, the, regardless, you get mad at things you don't need to be getting mad about. I've, every day of every day. Not every day. Like what I get mad at today. You got mad that you were late and we were mad that you were late. I didn't get late. mad at all. I apologize. I she mad. Po anyway, let's move on. I saw a video of, so it was the full send podcast. I haven't watched the full thing. I just saw like a TikTok clip of it, um, but they had, they had Joe Burrow on. Is that the Nelk boys? Uh, maybe. I, I think, think so. The Nelk boys. Um, but they, they had Joe Burrow on, right? And the clip that I saw, it was them talking about like when he got drafted and uh, like all that, all that stuff. Um, so he was first round draft picked, right? And so he was explaining, they were asking like about the money that comes with that. Um, so he's first round draft pick. And he, he said that for first round, uh, it was guaranteed $36.4 million over four years, right? With a fifth year option. For the NFL? Yeah, for the NFL, <laughs> right? And then he was, then they were like, they asked him, he was like, did you get a signing bonus too? He's like, yeah, I got a signing bonus of 24.6 million. Okay. Who did he play Not for? Bad. The Bengals. Oh, sorry, I don't know. Anyway, so the, they were talking, right? So and it's like, it's wild to hear that, but they're they're just like oh that that must have been a nice payday and he was like he's like yeah it's wild like seeing that come in the next morning and they're like what do you mean he's like yeah it's just a wire transfer <laughs> so like literally they just wire in twenty four million one day he just woke up and had twenty four and a half million dollars in his bank account <gasps> isn't that fucking insane probably feels good I I don't even know like Zach before this podcast we were talking we we're like we gotta get our money up right it's just a wire transfer of 24 million dollars yeah just instant <sighs> what does that feel like whose bank account does that come out of like the Bengals the association see that's you know? just wild to me yeah. Imagine what their bank account looks like. I, you know, and then I'm, I'm thinking about that stuff, you know, and then you start to think about like all the, the hundred millionaires, the billionaires and stuff. It's like, what, what, what is that? What do you account? look like? What, yeah. I, I want to see what it looks like in a bank account. To see a number that's like. I've seen, I've looked at people's bank accounts and like seen some numbers, but like, I've never seen something like that. It's just wild. I just thought that was like crazy. And he was like, he, he was being kind of like bashful about it, you know, just like, cause I think he, you know, he also realizes that it's like a fuck ton of money and it's like ridiculous to, to think about and it's even more wired. ridiculous to say out loud. Um, but crazy. yeah, he's just like, he's like, yeah, not a bad day. Not, but like 20 imagine waking up to just literally shit. gets drafted, wakes up one morning and like the rest of his life is taken care of. If I could he buy spends a it right. Or, like Denny's or what's the first somewhere. thing you'd go out and buy that morning? A house that morning. I'd like, I'd call my realtor. Yeah. I'd buy a house hundred percent. I have to be too. I was your thumper dumper. All my periods are like period poops are a thing. <laughs> Did you like clean up in there? You mean, of course. I mean, a lot of times you leave blood. <laughs> oh. Hey, that was at my house. Wait, what? <laughs> this is a real thing? Dude, she leaves blood just in the toilet, on the toilet. It's an accident. It's an accident that's been going on for years. <laughs> and it's just like, I come over to your house and I just want to- Dude, it's messy. It's messy. I lose a lot of blood. I understand. But and like sometimes when you're taking out the tampon, it like swings and hits the toilet and you don't realize. I would just, that may be something I just checked if I was having guests over. I don't think over. to check. Yeah, it's just I just I take it out over. and then throw, it's my house, my toilet. 
I got you. But if you're having guests over, it's just a considerable thing. But you guys don't really guess. I got you. So you want us to. Okay. Being, you could just throw it at us, I guess, at that point. We're not guests. So. <laughs> We're not guests. <laughs> Not a big deal. Um, Not really. Anyway, I want to talk about this company. There was already a... So there's this metaverse company called Somnium Space or Somnum Space. I don't know how you say it, but they're developing a way to... Uh, I already know this is a Black Mirror episode, but they're developing a way. Oh, no. So it records like everything that you do in the metaverse and like all your chats and things like this. And then you can sign up to talk to... Um, your loved ones that have passed away because it's developed like their personality in an AI. Absolutely not. Why? That's a hundred percent already a Black Mirror episode, except yeah, they you, just went more it? sci-fi and like they build like a robot or whatever. But, but like, no, no, they're not building a robot. No, 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 no I know, no. but just like the Black Mirror episode went more sci-fi. Oh, okay. That's what they're saying no. Why? Do not record my consciousness. That's See, here's so, the thing. It's like, I thought you want to live forever. Not like that. That's not living. What's the difference? That's not my, like, that's not my How mind. do you know you're not your, you know what I mean? Because like, I'm not recorded bits of computer information. You don't know if we're being well, honest. But I do know because maybe they just added flesh and blood to you to walk around. What are you talking you're about? You're probably like type 3.0. But I came out of my mom. How what if that's just the way that they, you know? programmed it do you want your consciousness stored yeah, like that? so cool no what because your loved ones would get addicted to it and they'd never move on like a part of death is grieving and moving on no but if you could talk to like your sixth great grandson grand i mean it's gonna suck for the immediate family or be good for them but like six seven generations later you could talk to like your great 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 and they're like what was it like in your day i was like i, I used to hang cool. out with this guy named jared who would never stop smiling <laughs> <laughs> like when you put it like that, that that's cool but it's like for the immediate family that's not healthy. that's so dark well they don't have to sign up i know but, but they will like how could you not like if either of you two died and that was an option for me i would not sign up for jared in my computer you know knowing that'd be Hey, Zach, you want to hear my new song? <laughs> I've got, that's all I can do is just make songs. See, like if I sign you up in a, like to be like messaging you or anything, like I just never get responses. You would never get responses you from me? You never answer your texts or calls. Oh, oh, I don't? Let's go through your missed calls right now. Okay, I missed a call today. Big deal. Two, but three, You never answer four, your texts. Actually. Okay, I think we can all be honest. You both are really bad at communication. I've expressly two stated calls from you i've expressly stated i never answer text i'm going through and it's pretty back and forth more actually more recently it's been better he never texts me back that's true so that, I thought, that is true our, our text chain is pretty like one-sided but th every time you text me i just walk over to your side not always apartment. no you know how many t yeah that's because i had to i had a fuss about it when you used to never text me back and then if i call him he goes what because we're in the same apartment. No, not always. No, this is anytime. Like, what? What? That is true. He doesn't, he could care less about my thoughts and that feelings. Is if he's not, not true. In, no, if he's not doing anything, then it's like he'll answer and it's like all good, good conversation. But if he's doing something, he looks so pissed that you've called. Like, this is you. You're like. And then he fakes like he likes to see me when I'm out of town and I come back. No, it's not fake. What you guys he's are going to cut all about, this out anyway. No, I'm not. What you guys are talking about is that. My work with like editing and making music and stuff is so auditory based that when you guys call, I can't work. I stop working. And so that gets frustrating for me because I like to. Well, do you think flow. it's frustrating that we don't have our friend, Jared? No, this was before you even edited or anything. You just be no, like, I don't like picking no, up I, calls. I know why that you get ticked. No, at he, like, he, said, that, but... he said he doesn't like picking up calls. He told me that. That's so weird. I way prefer calls. Yeah, we know. I you would call say, too much. <laughs> you don't answer enough, and you, you you call too much. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> yes, dude. If if you see a butterfly, you'll call one of us and be like, "There's a butterfly!" I swear. And we're like, "Sick, dude." Why? What's wrong with that? It, Why? Next time, I wouldn't call either of you when I discover I've accidentally put two tampons in. Okay. You didn't call either of us. You call, she called me, dude. Oh, wow. And, <laughs> and I would love for you not to call me about that. <laughs> that was wild. No, this is the Indies thing. She'll call you. a couple of days ago. She'll call I know, you. I had to hear it from Riley. She'll call you, tell you information, and then just wants to stay on the phone. And you're like, we're doing other things. <laughs> that's okay. That's that's why I don't like answering calls. I just want to hang out with you guys sometimes. That is not true. You just don't like being alone. It's I want to hang us. out with you. I, I Listen, I expressed why... I get slightly, uh, I get annoyed is like a strong word. It's not like annoyed, but you get it's a little irritated, irritated, I guess. I don't know, but irritated, irritated. 
but yeah, like my work is all auditory. So I have to stop working when, when you guys call, when Zach could just walk over to my side of the apartment. My knee has screws in it. (laughs) Call granny. Honestly, that's true. I can't call granny. Granny, like granny would love that because she'll do the same thing to you. She'd be like, "Guess what? I got a belt." Your granny texted me this whole big thing of like, "This is what I'm doing. This is what I like. This is how life is. How's life for you? What's up? Da, 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 da. Got this house." Honestly, this you guys thing. should start calling each other. Yeah, yeah. match made in heaven. A couple mm-hmm. of chatty Cathy's. Zach did say that if she lived in LA, we'd be besties and i totally agree because when we were in west virginia we like quickly would go do little errands together go a little grab little things and we spent like all of our time together in west virginia was best yeah i don't think it's a bad thing on your part you know that's who you are as a person you, I just you get like, excited you like things. to be surrounded by people and that's okay um jared i feel like is a little bit of a mixture and me i could be alone for two years and just have a grand old time yeah <laughs> so that's the difference i it's, just ate some parmesan cheese we're, but we're definitely like all on the spectrum where like indy is like super like people oriented i no i'm only people orientated around the people that oriented. i <laughs> only around you two no no it really is only you two i don't have to call like once if something happens if i don't if i lose like the luster of that fun experience like i don't have to tell it's like i just won the lottery yeah you if, don't tell if any- my mom doesn't pick up in five minutes i'm like i'm not i have no energy so to tell i have anyone. to tell your mom the exciting things in your life yeah that's what i'm saying it's not a good thing or a bad thing on either of our parts just who we are you guys want to go get cold soon uh you have so much cookie dough maybe we should eat that oh true thank you guys so much for a lot uh <laughs> <laughs> nailed it <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. Honestly, without these two, who knows where we, and that's said for all of us, like if you you were saying this too, if it wasn't for these two, where would we all be? Huh? Look at us. Oh, we, I know we exactly might, where I'd be and it wouldn't be good. Imagine, we're, we all fight. We, we get in disagreements, but look, we're here every week. 102, aren't we? And 102. Isn't, and isn't that wonderful? It is wonderful. Or detrimental to no, it's wonderful. one of our mental health. Um, all right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. If you stayed to the end, DM me. Your, your highlight of your week. And be honest, okay? Aww, that's sweet. That's a cute one. It's not a cute one, Jared. I'm trying to it get is to a cute one. Like, I, I feel like a lot of people don't genuinely want to get to know the people that follow them. But I do try to make an effort. So I want to figure out, I don't know. Um, before we go, uh, check out, I have a new remix. Don't do it. Out. Please do. The worst. What? No. Oh, it's why? It's actually, um, to, so he's, it doesn't sound like self-centered. I have been listening to this remix on repeat and I like it better than the original. So go check that out. By the time this comes out, it's already out. It's another Tate McRae remix. Very proud of it. Um, Go listen to it now. Bye. All right. Well, All right, we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Dropouts. I'm Indiana. That's Act Justice. That's your bird music. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Dropouts Pod. We'll see you guys next week for the I'm about to hit 30 million out. on um Instagram. So please follow me. 30 million? Bye. Whoa. Hi. Uh, yo. Uh, just switch the beat. I'm on my feet. All I do is do it discreet.